What happens when the Merc with a Mouth takes on Marvel's most resilient mutant? It's a burning question that has fueled countless debates among fans. Today, we dive deep into this epic showdown, Deadpool vs. Wolverine. Who will reign supreme? Let's slice through their strengths, weaknesses, and unforgettable feats to find out. Picture this, an abandoned warehouse, the perfect battleground for two of Marvel's most iconic characters. Wolverine, or Logan, known for his gruff demeanor, sense of honor, and deep loyalty, faces off against Deadpool, or Wade Wilson, the irreverent anti-hero with a penchant for chaos and humor. Both boast regenerative healing powers, but their similarities end there. Wolverine's healing ability is a natural part of his mutant genetics, while Deadpool's is artificially induced, a byproduct of experiments attempting to replicate Wolverine's healing factor. Let's talk about Wolverine first. Logan's life is a tapestry of pain and loss, colored by his struggles with his animalistic nature and his quest for redemption. His healing factor allows him to recover from almost any injury, coupled with adamantium-coated skeleton and retractable claws, making him virtually indestructible. He has survived everything from fatal wounds to nuclear explosions. His senses are razor sharp, and his combat skills honed over centuries of warfare. Now coming to Deadpool. Wade Wilson is a former Special Forces operative turned mercenary. Subjected to torturous experiments under the Weapon X program, he was granted a supercharged healing factor that rivals, and perhaps exceeds, Wolverines. Deadpool's regenerative abilities are so potent that he can regrow limbs in seconds and even survive decapitation. However, his healing is tied to his unstable mental state, making it unpredictable. Deadpool's primary advantage lies in his unpredictability and his vast array of weapons, from katanas to guns, not to mention his infamous fourth wall-breaking humor. Let's talk about their strengths and weaknesses. Wolverine's healing is steady and reliable, allowing him to recover from severe injuries, though it takes time for extensive damage. His adamantium skeleton provides an added layer of durability, making him resistant to physical trauma and giving his attacks lethal precision. Deadpool's healing, on the other hand, is faster but more erratic. His body can heal from almost anything at an astonishing speed, but his regeneration can sometimes result in bizarre outcomes. Stress and emotional turmoil can affect his healing process, adding a layer of unpredictability. So, we can say that Wolverine's healing is more stable, while Deadpool's speed can be a lifesaver in combat. When it comes to combat skills, Wolverine is a seasoned warrior, with centuries of martial arts and military training. His fighting style is aggressive yet controlled, using his enhanced senses and experience to outmaneuver and overpower his opponents. He is a master swordsman and a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Deadpool, in contrast, is a wild card. His fighting style is chaotic and improvisational, blending martial arts with his own brand of unpredictability. He is skilled with a variety of weapons and relies on his quick reflexes and agility. Here, Wolverine's discipline and experience give him a clear edge in a straight fight. Coming to battle tactics, Wolverine's approach to combat is strategic and methodical. He analyzes his opponent's weaknesses and exploits them with precision. His heightened senses allow him to anticipate attacks and counter with deadly efficiency. Deadpool thrives on chaos. He taunts his opponents, using humor and unpredictability to throw them off balance. His tactics may seem random, but there's often a method to his madness, catching foes off guard with unexpected moves. Now, it depends on the opponent. Wolverine's strategy works well against most, but Deadpool's unpredictability can disrupt even the most calculated plans. Next is durability and strength. Wolverine's adamantium skeleton gives him unparalleled durability. He can withstand blows that would cripple or kill a lesser being. His strength is formidable, allowing him to lift several tons and perform feats of incredible power. Deadpool, while not as strong, makes up for it with exceptional agility and reflexes. He can dodge attacks with ease and his flexible fighting style keeps him in the game longer than most. Here, Wolverine's adamantium skeleton makes him a walking tank, and his strength is unmatched. Coming to weapons and gear, Wolverine's claws are his primary weapons, razor sharp, unbreakable, and lethal. They can cut through almost anything and are an extension of his own body, making him a deadly combatant. Deadpool, however, is a walking arsenal. He carries an assortment of weapons, from katanas to firearms, and his resourcefulness in using them gives him a versatile edge. His unpredictability means he might pull out a grenade or a rocket launcher at any moment. Now this is situational. 
Wolverine's claws are iconic and lethal, but Deadpool's diverse arsenal can provide unexpected advantages. Moving on to their experience, Wolverine has centuries of experience, having fought in numerous wars and battles. His extensive history makes him a seasoned veteran with a wealth of combat knowledge. Deadpool, while experienced, is much younger. His background as a mercenary and anti-hero gives him significant experience, but it pales in comparison to Wolverine's long history. Here, Wolverine's centuries of experience give him a tactical advantage. Next is Team Dynamics. Wolverine has been a key member of the X-Men and other teams, forming strong bonds with teammates like Cyclops and Storm. His leadership and teamwork skills are well honed. Deadpool is more of a lone wolf. While he has teamed up with heroes like Spider-Man and Cable, his chaotic nature makes him a difficult teammate. Wolverine's reliability and experience in team dynamics make him a more effective leader. Next is Iconic Feats. Wolverine's resume is packed with legendary accomplishments. He has led the X-Men, survived apocalyptic events, and even fought gods. His feats of strength, endurance, and sheer willpower are legendary. Deadpool's feats are more unconventional but no less impressive. He has taken on entire enemy squads single-handedly, survived nuclear blasts, and pulled off stunts that defy logic. Here, Wolverine's feats showcase his experience and leadership, while Deadpool's highlight his unpredictability and resilience. Coming to weaknesses, Wolverine's primary vulnerabilities are his susceptibility to certain toxins and his own rage, which can cloud his judgment. Prolonged exposure to adamantium has also taken a toll on his health. Deadpool's biggest weakness is his unstable mind. While his healing factor is powerful, it's tied to his mental state. Severe emotional stress can hinder his regeneration, and his body sometimes regenerates in unexpected ways. Now this is a close call. Both have vulnerabilities that can be exploited by a skilled opponent. Now coming to the conclusion. So, who wins in a fight between Deadpool and Wolverine? The answer isn't clear-cut. Wolverine's experience, discipline, and durability give him a solid edge, but Deadpool's regenerative speed, unpredictability, and chaotic fighting style make him a formidable opponent. If we have to choose, Deadpool might have a slight advantage due to his sheer unpredictability and faster healing factor. However, in a drawn-out battle, Wolverine's experience and resilience could tip the scales in his favor. What do you think? Who's going to win this fight? Will it be Wolverine or Deadpool? We would love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.